Now I give the floor uh, to RFSL. This is a joint statement. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. We welcome and support the, uh, the work of the new Special Rapporteur on the Right to Development. Indeed, the right to development is an essential element of universal and inalienable human rights, making the human person the central subject, an active participant and the beneficiary of development. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans and intersex persons, however, are often not able to participate in, contribute to and enjoy such economic, social, cultural and political development and instead face multiple forms of violence and discrimination. We notice that the report mentions several challenges to the realization of the right to development. One of those is the politicization and the lack of engagement by states. And we hope that the work of the special report will help foster dialogue and create entry points on the nature, nature and duties of states to realize the right to development. This is truly a time to reinvigorate the advocacy process of the implementation of the right to development in the world. We welcome the special rapporteur who will be guided by the inclusiveness in all aspects of his work. In fact, some sectors and groups of the world have progressed at a slower rate and existing inequalities have sadly been exacerbated as others have benefited. One of these groups that are frequently left behind are LGBT, LGBTI persons who are at heightened risk of being discriminated against and excluded. Structural and societal barriers result in discrimination and institutional violence. It is further often linked with other factors. Mr. President, we congratulate the Special Rapporteur on his approach to paying attention to the gender dimension in his work and we hope that the further reports will in particular consider the specific challenges of lesbian and bisexual women and trans and intersex persons. Last year, this Council highlighted the urgent need to make the right to development a reality for everyone by creating this mandate, and this will also include LGBTI persons from around the world. We stand ready to work with the Special Rapporteur on the right to development to ensure that the situation of all persons is included, including those who are LGBTI persons. I thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you.